Well, hello, loyal friends and fans. Today, I'd like to talk to you a bit about call. Now, some of you may be wondering what I mean by call. Call is the name of a speech technique that you will hear about from singers made by the cricoid cartilage tilting. But for most of us, it's less about really understanding all of that and more about how to use it in our natural speech, which is what we want to learn to do with exercises. I also want to mention a dictionary definition that I'll read to you from Lessig. This is Arthur Lessig, The Lessig Method. He talks about the call technique appearing to attempt to combine in a specific way the larynx tone, we call it laryngeal tone, and the voluntary shaping of the vocal tract, especially in regard to the amount of space between the teeth, the degree of stretch in the cheek muscles, and the size and shape of the lip opening to enhance vocal resonance and projection. Wow, was that a mouthful. So let me simplify it for you. We're gonna do an exercise together, and I'm gonna stand for the exercise so I can show you how to do this. So let me tweak the camera so you can see me better. So the idea is that we want this laryngeal shaping so that our voice can launch loud, which is called a call. We want it to call out. So the idea is that we're going to pretend for the diaphragm here that we have a diamond shape. Here's the diamond. On the ends of the diamond or the middle section, it's going to touch your rib cage. And the upper part is the breastbone. So you can go right here. It's a little easier for men than women. We go right here to the top of the diaphragm, this whole middle section. And we're going to take this top area. This is the top of the pyramid in a sense, but we're turning it into a diamond. We're going to go right under that breastbone and just pump the fingers. So this could be your pointer finger, or sometimes I use my thumb and second finger right here, and we just press the breastbone as we pant. And this panting, if you think of a dog going, <laughs> the reason you do it is you want movement in the breastbone. <laughs> you can use both hands if you like. From there, you want to see if you can get just as much pant from the bottom of the diamond. So that would be way down here in the pelvic floor area. <sighs> now some of you have seen me do this move before where you take the thumb and the second finger, you go to the lowest region of your stomach and you just pump here. <sighs> the top is, <sighs> the bottom is, <sighs> and do you hear how it sounds like a dog panting? You're just activating those muscles. And we can also do that on the side. Upper, lower. Now can you take it into the whole area? From the pant, let's add some sounds with an H. So we're gonna go Now you can go slowly and go through each area. I'm speeding it up because in this video we don't want it to last forever. But the idea is that you take this area where you did the panting and cause the whole support system for the diaphragm to vibrate and to uh, pulse. So it goes in and out. It's almost like a bouncing movement. He, he, he. Ha, ha, ha. And I would add voice to it rather than a whisper. So it's less of and more of ha, ha, ho, ho. He, he. Ha, 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 ha. Now using this whole area, ah ha 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 ha. Now let's hear how this translates into speech. So after activating those areas, I'm gonna come back to just talking to you and we're gonna try call. So this is call. Hey you, ha ha, what's going on? Wake up. It's really useful if you're doing a video, for example, or if you're doing an entry to a PowerPoint like you've just jumped out in front of the audience and you want to do an attention getter, it's great to use call in the voice. I often think of it as yelling for a taxi. Taxi! And I can tell you my voice didn't used to be this strong and I had a lot of difficulty with this call concept that is launching the voice strong. Launching at its strongest point. And that's what call does for you. Again, if you do this exercise with the diamond first to activate under the breastbone and on the sides, which I find a little more challenging, you really have to get into your ribs here. If you're having difficulty, watch my video where I open up the ribs with the breath. 
that's really useful. And then, of course, the pelvic floor. <laughs> and there are other videos I've done on the pelvic floor. Now we put it all together and we try our voices. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the conference. And notice when I do that, that my voice starts loud and stays loud. And that's the signature move of the call. Now, when you say taxi or hey, it's a little easier because it's so short. So what we're working on is extending call. Can you start and launch loud and stay loud? And that, my friends, is the call.